Parenthood. There's no rules, are there? We make it up as we go along. These are my parents a long, long time ago. My parents brought up me and my two sisters, and they made a fair number of mistakes on the way, as all parents do. I like to think if I make the right kind of mistakes, my kids will have a childhood as good as mine. This was my mum. Traditionally, I should be saying, my mum taught me to cook. My mum was a dreadful cook. She's still a dreadful cook. What I learned about cooking from my mum was my dad standing there saying, Jackie, when it's brown, it's cooked. When it's black, it's buggered. <laughs> my dad was big on DIY, and he had three daughters. So as the resident tomboy, I was the one under the car when he dropped the gearbox. I was the one hanging from the TV aerial with a rotary stripper when he moved the ladder. And I was the one holding the drill when it exploded. My father was kind of a, a one-man parental assault course, which I survived. But he was a hero. When I was six, I was holding a sparkler and my glove caught fire. And I was terrified, my glove was on fire. And my dad just looked down at me, put both his hands over my glove, put the fire out with his bare hands. That's a hero. I've tried to bring my kids up to be as brave as my dad. I've tried to bring them up to have no fear. Rosie was scared of heights. My daughter, Rosie, and me, doing tree trekking at Center Parks. Rosie was scared of heights. I said, hey, do you know what? Let's go up in the air. She did. I'm so proud of her, she did brilliantly. I'm trying to bring my kids up to know nothing's scary. Some things are scary though, because eventually you realize that your parents are not immortal. Eventually you realize you haven't got them forever. They start getting a bit older, and they go a bit gray, and you start to realize one day you'll cope without them. This is the last photo I have of my dad. He died a couple of days later. This man was my first hero. I'm very lucky. I've got two brand new heroes forever. This guy was the first. Takes a lot of living up to. This lady's another hero. This is my mum now. I nursed my mum through kidney cancer and through lung cancer. She looks healthier now than I've ever seen her. This is me and my mum doing the foxtrot at my younger sister's 40th birthday party. She doesn't look bad for a lady who's had cancer twice, does she? She has taught me you can fight anything and win. Family memories. When I got engaged the first time, I designed my engagement ring and had it made. Showed my dad, and he went and grabbed his mum's engagement ring. I never met her. Her engagement ring was identical to the one I designed. It was even the same size. When I named my daughter Rosanna, 15 years later, I found out my grandma's name was Rosani. I love this pic. My parents taught me, you don't owe anything to your parents. You owe it to your own kids. You can only guide the shoulder in front of you. You put your hand on your own kid's shoulder in front of you. That's who you guide. You can't guide behind you. So you pay it forward. When my daughter was born, I had a shock. Because the first time I held her, I knew that I could kill. Because if anybody hurt this baby, I would. Scary thought. I've sometimes been concerned that over the years, as I get old and decrepit, and it's fast coming on, I will forget things. So for my daughter being born, and for my son being born, I've kept diaries of them. And I go back and read them, and there's so much I would have forgotten if I'd not written it down. And I've got photos in there, and I've got stories in there, and I've got their childhood forever. When they turn old enough to become parents, I'm going to give them them and say, here's what I did wrong, do your best. Parenthood's not about being there right at the beginning. This is my husband and my daughter. She's kind of not biologically his, but he's brought her up from 18 months old. She's lucky enough she's got a good relationship with her biological dad too. But parenthood's about being there. It's about being in the video shop when she's three years old and screaming because she wants to watch the Blue movie. And after a very uncomfortable 10 minutes, we worked out it was Jungle Book and Blue that she wanted to watch. <laughs> Slightly embarrassing for a while there. When my son was born, the midwife said, it's a boy. I said, no, it's not, it's blue tartan. I was high as a kite on gas and air. I didn't know which way was up. And when I finally got myself together and looked at him, he was so hairy, I thought, he's a monkey. And you can see he's done nothing over the years to dispel this impression. 
Yes. Some memories are golden ones that you hold in your heart forever. This was one of those. I took my kids out in the rain, because kids should go out in the rain, in their wellies, and get wet. And we stamped in all the puddles, and we had a fabulous time. And Dan said, I've got water in me wellies. No, you haven't. Wellies don't leak. We got back to the car, and I must have poured half a pint out of each welly. Went to Centre Parks, right? My kids decided to do exboarding. We had no idea what exboarding was. Why did they decide to do it? Because in the brochure, it said, safety gear is provided and compulsory. That was the only reason they wanted to do it. Am I proud? Hell yeah. A couple of years ago, this is my daughter. She said to me, I can't wait to get pregnant. Uh, why? She said, because mums know everything. She said, and I think when you get pregnant, you get this massive cosmic download. So suddenly you know everything. Sorry, Rose, it don't quite work like that. She's an impoverished student now. She sold a car and bought a motorbike. Somebody said to me, are you not scared to death of her being out on two wheels? I said, no. It's the baby bird thing. You have to allow them to fall so they learn how to fly. You've got to let them get out there and have some danger so they learn to be safe. It's me on my bike, my Thundercat. I have been so blessed through my life. I have been allowed to fall by my parents so I could learn to fly. And it must have scared them because I've let my, pa my children fall so they could learn how to fly. And it has scared the hell out of me. And every time they've fallen, I've picked them up and launched them higher. And do you know what? They're flying. <laughs>